Hello friends, welcome to automation community. In the previous video, we have discussed an example. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss another example. Let's look at the example first. Example 10. If switch 1 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. If switch 1 is off, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. Then, if switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So, today in this video, we are going to use set and reset coils. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder logic for this example and use set and reset coils. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where there is a list of different logic controllers but I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configuration. I will click on yes. So the device TM221C24R has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port. 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks. Then I can also go to serial line and select protocol as Modbus ASCII TMS 2GDB Modbus Serial IO Scanner. I will select it as TMS 2GDB. I will click on it and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here we will be drawing ladder logic for the example. I can also click on full screen mode and zoom into it. So I will insert normally open contact and two set coils for motor one and motor two. Now I will connect like this and then I will assign address to the contact as well as to the set coils. Firstly I will assign address to the contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol as switch 1. Yes. And then I will assign address to these coils I will address it as Q 0.0, .0 and then Q 0.1. I will also add symbol as motor 1. Yes. And then motor so, yes. So, we have used two set coils here. That is, when switch 1 is on, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then, if we turn off switch 1, but the outputs will remain on. That is, motor 1 and motor 2 will be still on. Then, if switch 2 is on, then motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. So, to turn on these motors, we will use switch 2. Now, we will use reset coils here to turn off motor 1 and motor 2. So, to turn off motor 1 and motor 2, we will use reset coils. Firstly, I will add a new rung here. 
and then I will insert normally open contact here and reset coil. I will connect the reset coil by drawing a line like this and then I will assign address to the coil to the contacts as well as the reset coils. Firstly, I will assign address to the contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol as switch 2. Yes. And then I will assign address to the reset coils same as motor 1 and motor 2 that is Q 0.0, .0 and Q 0.1. So here when switch 1 is on motor 1 and motor 2 will be on and then when switch 1 is off then as we have used set coils here motor 1 and motor 2 will still remain on and then to turn off these motors I am using switch 2. So when I turn on switch 2 as we have used here reset coils. So on turning on switch 2 motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. Then I will exit full screen mode here and compile the program. Then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. Then I will start controller to do so click OK. Then I will click on full screen mode. When I turn on switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 will be on. And then when I turn off switch 1, as we have used set coils, when I turn off switch 1, motor 1 and motor 2 still remain on. And then to turn off these motors, we are using switch 2. That is, when I turn on switch 2, motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. It's because we have used reset coils here. That is, when I turn on switch 2, motor 1 and motor 2 will be off. And then when I turn off switch 2, motor 1 and motor 2 will be still off. In the next video, we will discuss about the same problem and there we will not use the set and reset coils. There we will use another method to implement the same logic. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.